Hello, Terry here, and today we're going to play Cherry Witch. Developed by Smile Strobani. Uh, this is a, you could say a sequel to like Berry Witch, which which is a game I've played before and I really truly enjoy, like the characters and like the plot lines. And yes, this is Cherry Witch, another one of it. I'm I'm curious how it goes actually. It's very interesting. Like Berry Bear, Bear, Bear Witch is already cool and fun to play with like i'm curious about like what is happening the storyline and the characters is enjoyable and now it's cherry witch anyway yes let's start playing the game shall we this game i think it's around 30 minutes or something so yeah probably more because we're going to explore stuff new game new game thank you and then warning this game includes mentioned depictions of kidnapping I feel like I've heard this in Mad, Mad Father, this song. Uh, kidnapping, murder, blood, drugging, cannibalism, child abuse, and addiction. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Do you know what makes up a witch? They're a bit different from humans, although they often make their form look similar to them. Every witch is born from pure magic. More specifically... What? What? But more specifically, a sort of magic nucleus. Almost like a pearl, more and more layers of magic build up until a witch can take four. During a witch childhood, they will find their magic speciality. Or that's the thing they're most magically proficient in. Takes less energy from them to do the thing than a normal witch you'll see. Magical energy, it isn't infinite. When a witch runs out of magic, they die. Letting out a big burst of energy themselves back into the universe. Sort of a life cycle, a cycle of life thing, you know. I didn't know that. It's an interesting detail to know. So yes, uh, if you go back to like uh, the previous game, uh, Berry Witch, uh, she's very proficient in making everything out of strawberry. Yeah. Of course, witches can share magical energy without with just about anything. Food, drink, clothes, accessories, you name it. And it can probably give you a boost. But the problem with witches is that we're all selfish. Not true. I've seen... Be uh, the berry witch isn't selfish, which, which is interesting in comparison here. Yeah, I'm just gonna lower my model. Says a bit so you all can see uh see better you know hmm interesting wait no 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 go back go back i forget that i might i might have not read that actually didn't i that's where i come in uh, never never mind okay i don't want to miss that how do i go back no the brb okay many people will do whatever it takes to lengthen their lifespan and consume as much as energy as possible. Ah, interesting. So that's what we're missing. That's probably an important detail. The name's Inquiry. I'm a detective... <laughs> Inquiry, huh? Detective... Detective, hmm? Witch for the Council of Witches. Inquiry and Detective, yeah. Recently, I've been investigating a series of disappearances that I think are the work of a serial killer. Maybe even a group of them. It's tough work. Interviewing families and friends for the cl for clues alone can be hard on the soul. Recently, it's I got ended up leading me right into a corner too. But despite the chaos of the world I'm in, there's always one place I can depend on for normalcy. Is it the Cherry? Taking a deep breath in, I took a step forward through the doors to a sweet little shop called Cherry Pies Cafe. Uh, I feel like the text box is rather a little bit hard to read in the, with the contrast, but yeah. Once inside, I become engulfed in a feeling of warmth and belonging. That's just the effect this place has on you. The calming music provided the perfect peaceful amb ambience for people to sit and enjoy a nice cup of coffee and a slice of the world's most delicious pie. The chairs were always nice, always clean. It was perhaps the only place I was able to actually relax during my free time. This is... What do you call those thing? Uh, perfect mirror re replica re replica of like the Berry Witch situation. 
Well, hi there, sugar pie. That little lady is the cherry on top, quite literally. Her name is Cherry Pie, Cherry for short. She runs the cafe with an upbeat smile and warm personality. Cherry, huh? When there was downtime in the cafe, she would often came over and talk to me with Cherry exp Why? Cherry, yeah, Cherry expression. On her face and a slice of pie in her hands. Truly, this girl is something special. Morning, Cherry. Things been slow today? Yeah, probably. Slower than a snail in a food race? Hmm. It's a relief. Oh no, that's Cherry. It's a relief to finally see a friendly face. Hey hey. Will you be having your usual slice of pie and a coffee today? Hey, you know me well. Yes, ma'am. Sliding the usual payment over the countertop, Sherry made quick work in making my usual order. So, how's work been treating you? Hush, not that, not that great. Oh, it's the case not going well. God, it leads straight to another dead end. Every time I think I'm a step closer to figuring out the truth, something pops, pops up and puts me three step back. I wonder if you're actually closer to, to the truth than you... Would have guessed. Well, no, that's not good at all. I'm awfully sorry, Inquiry. I know I'm not fancy detective at all, but I'm here if you need to let out your frustrations. You look so tired. You really shouldn't be overworking yourself like this, you know. Can I hit dialog box? I don't know. Oh, okay. With space. Space bar. Is this... Yes, this is Terran Engine. This game is developed bit in Terran Engine. I remember a bit. I usually play with the Ren Pi Engine, so I don't really know much about... Cherry engine stuff. Cherry Pie scolded me, pouring two cups of coffee, just the way we both liked it. Her sweet and full of creamer, mine with hints of pumpkin spice and cinnamon. Yeah. Oh, you worried about me, Cherry? Very much so. I don't know what to do without my favorite customer visiting me every day. Hey <laughs> hey. She brought over a tray of our goodies and set them down on my usual table in the corner, far away from all the other empty tables and chairs. Well, there's no need to worry. There's nothing in the world that could stop me from visiting you. Yeah, no matter how tired this old soul becomes. Is that a promise? Because if so, I'm holding you to it. It's a promise, Cherry Pie. Sorry, but you're stuck with me. Eh. You say that like, like it's a bad thing, hey <laughs> hey. I'll gladly be stuck with you any day. Ah, uh, but anyways... Cherry took a long sip of her drink, pushing my cup towards me. What's been happening in your case, if you don't mind me asking? I paused for a moment, staring at the pastry chef in front of me with a puzzled expression. Cherry, you know I'm not supposed to share classified information. The council would kick my ass if I did. But I'm uh, also curious. I can tell it's really stressing you out, sugar pie. It might be good to talk about it, even if it's in vague terms. Rubbing my temples, I thought about everything I had witnessed, everything I had endured. Everything I kept bottled up for so long. Fine, but I can't say much. Let me see here. Alright, continue. No matter how much or little, I'm always here to listen. I'm looking for someone. Someone who did a lot of bad things. They planted a lot of false clues, a lot of things that were that were merely placed to waste my time, which it did. God, I'm really worthless detective. No, no, don't say that. You've got a brilliant mind inquiry. Indeed. Thanks, Cherry. It's just... I think it must be related to some sort of group or organization. Everything feels so carefully planned out. Even the smallest thing that could be thought of as sleep up had been planned all along. There are quite a few underground groups of powerful witches. Those witches, they don't exactly follow the rules of the consoles, you see. I took a long sip of my drink, my mind beginning to race anxiously with all the possibilities. I see. 
The everlasting was always well known for their attention to detail, so it wouldn't be surprising. Everlasting? I didn't mention the everlasting. Indeed. The everlasting is a gang of sorts typically behind organized crime that often ends deadly. That group has been dodging the console of witches for centuries. There isn't any way, right? Sherry, what do you know? Kim and Michael are pretend pretended to not hear her sleep up and continue on with the conversation. I think she knows. I think she... Uh, even if she's like not planning to slip that out, I think she realized that she slipped it out, probably. Indeed. Shit, I might be able to get some information out of her if I play my cards right. No, honestly, I really didn't want to do any work right now. Here's the problem. The lemon witch recently has gone missing. Sources say she was relatively young too. She disappeared last week after an outing in this very town. It's been troublesome narrowing down a place, however. There's a chance Cherry Pie could have had something to do with it. Ironic, two fruit which is involved on opposite sides of a potentially deadly crime. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Any grumpy customer lately? Oh, darling, you wouldn't believe it. Some people just don't know how to be polite, hmm? The other day, my little sis brought in one of her school friends. Little sister? I didn't know Cherry had a little sister. Yeah, that's interesting. More importantly, though, her sister may be the same age as Lemon Witch. It could be possible that they know each other. I tried so hard to be nice, I really did, but this kid, she just had such a sour attitude. Sour attitude? I know what you mean. Kid is this really out and lighten up more. Exactly, or at least don't give worker just doing their job a weird look and stuff for no reason. Hmm, a kid with a sour attitude. Do anything this past few weeks? What school is your sister in? Oh, she got accepted in the lottery for Incantation Academy not long ago. Really now? Eh, that's funny. I live right by that school. Really? Well, then maybe I should visit you before picking her up someday. I like that quite a lot, actually. Lemon goes to that school, there's too many coincidences. Did you hear what Everlasting did yesterday? Have you seen anything suspicious? That's too straightforward. Say, have you seen anything suspicious around this area, Cherry? Everything seems safe. Goodness me! Are you worried about me? Eh, maybe I am. Well, now that you mention it, some people I used to see come by haven't been coming as much anymore. Cafe addicts missing their daily cup gets concerning, but maybe I'm just overthinking it. Eh. Oh, do you have any names for anyone you're concerned about? Yeah. Mm, not off the top of my head, no. But I'm sure it's just me being silly. No need to worry about that. Damn it. No matter what I do or say, it's just running me back into a corner game. What do you mean? You gotta leave. Is something wrong, Sugar Pie? No, no, don't worry about it, Cherry. Do you have any boxes or bags or something I can take this out in? Y yeah but you're leaving already? You didn't even take a bite. Sorry, Cherry, I just got a lot of my on my mind right now. I'll see you again soon, though. Cherry picked away my sli by slice, trying to force a smile. I felt bad, but there's no way I can keep a normal conversation right now. My mind's decluttered with words. Will do. See you later, Cherry. She was acting a bit weird now just now, wasn't she? It's probably just my inner paranoia. Ending 1 to 6 to go. Ah, ah, interesting. Interesting. Save time. A 
let's go back, shall we? Aha, the everlasting. This one. If we did something different here, it should provide a different result. Did you hear what the everlasting did yesterday? Oh, no, fuck. <sighs> that's a problem with... Yeah, that's a, that's a problem with the Terna engine. It skips stuff automatically, I think. Fuck, fuck my life. Uh, wait. Nope, I don't know how to... Ugh, we just have to go back. Yeah, if anyone knows how to deal with that in Terra Engine, please tell me. Uh, this one then. H huh? What did they do? Some Jack is claiming to be with the Everlasting tried robbing one of the council members. This wasn't true at all, actually. I just wanted to see if Cherry would have any sort of strange reaction. Which she did. Call it a hunch, I suppose. Cherry, not failing to disappoint, looked like she was about to choke on her own drink. R really? You've got to be kidding! Do something like that! She took a deep breath in. That's just horrible! Awful! Did anyone get hurt? Thankfully, no. They imprisoned the sucker behind it, though. Cherry looked like she was about to say something, but quickly closed her mouth. If I pick up one thing about Cherry isn't is that she wasn't much for hesitating, so there's six ending, by the way. Something here is obviously wrong. Just looking at a chair like this felt like the world's most casual interrogation. I was finding out a lot of things, things that added up, things that made me have more questions. Luckily I have the time to the time necessary to get a bit more information out of her. Sure, but you haven't touched your slice yet. Is something the matter? Cherry looked concerned. Shit, I can have her catch on to me. I laugh it off, telling her I just enjoyed her comedy so much I forgot to eat, meanwhile grabbing my fork to eat some good old pie. What are the pie made of? Cherry? I took a bite, the cherry flavor filling my very sense. This doesn't taste like her normal pie. Did you try a new recipe for your pies? Hey, hey you can see that. I'm starting to feel strange, dizzy, discombobulated even. Now, I was beginning to get to grow rosier and rosier by the moon. You... you didn't. She did. She absolutely did. Ah! My head was pounding the second I regained consciousness. Before I could even try and get those old muscles to move, I realized I was safely wrapped in some sort of room. Wouldn't you have realized when you brought the pie back home with you? You were like, wait a second, she tried to drug me. <laughs> what? How is that like just like the, the go to endings is like, hmm, okay. Now, could this be vines? Why is it like treated like a, sh a shush kebab? Kebabs. Oh, oh, there you are. Turning out my head, I was greeted by the face of my captor. My instinct was to use defensive magic, a simple blast of energy to push her away from me, yet the second I tried, nothing happened. Not even a speck of sparkle, dust, or any of that crap. You, what did she do to me? Uh, nothing serious, I promise. I just slipped something in your pie. The fellas have been working on a magic blocker, they say. You see, it is even stronger than the ones your council of which is folk is. A pinch of that, a little bit of mild tranquilizers, and lots of sugars and cherries to hide it all. I mean, it's not a very good hiding. <laughs> you could say that. Mix it all up, and ta-da! I have you right where I want you. Safe. Safe. So... Are you gonna kill me? Are you going to kill me? Oh, Jolly, no! G Jolly? Jolly, no! Of course not! I just wanted to have a little chat, that's all! What about? About how you're killing witches? You're... You're part of the Everlasting, aren't you? Oh, don't look at me like that. They're really not so bad. They're criminals, Cherry Pie. Killer. Thieves. And now it seems you are too. <laughs> Your word hurts, Inquiry. And after everything I've done to try and save you too. No, no, I've gotta have patience since you'll understand. 
Soon we'll be together and happy for all of eternity. Hell yeah, Yuri. What? You've always been my favorite customer inquiry. Being in my little friend group, it's a necessity for me. A life of chaos and torment with no end is just my fate in this world, I'm afraid. But you were always kind, always warned me. Whenever you came in that life, I once had paused. I was able to be a normal witch, just a cute little cafe owner flir flirting with a lovely lady, baking pies, making people smile. With you, I finally feel like I can live the life of my dreams. I can't wait for you to become only on your break anymore. I want you to be able to call this place your home, then make amends, uh, just uh, tell, just uh, release us and tell what you did. I want to be able to call myself your wife one day. <laughs> God damn it. I'll make you coffee every morning, just the way you like it. I'll give you kisses every night. Together we can be the perfect picture as a couple, living a happy normal life. Are you sure? Are you sure it will be ever normal with this situation? That's all I want. Do you tie up and drag everyone you ask out on dates, cherry pie? Hahaha! <laughs> no, you're the first. The only. My one and only. This girl has absolutely lost her mind. Look, um, I, I'm flattered, but... But... There was a look of fear in her eyes before I could even finish my sentence. Her eye began twitching as I took my next breath. I really should be careful with my words here. I'm sure you're wonderful, but your workplace and my workplace. It just crashes a lot, you know. Unless you surrender your workplace, we can make a deal, perhaps. Look, just let me out of here and we can chat about this more. Hehehe, <laughs> I'm sure you'll find that they don't class as much as you think. For an organization that claims to claim to care so much about life, nothing was really done until your little inventor witch friend went missing him. What about the spider witch? The lily pad witch? No one cared when they disappeared. Not one of you ones was sent out to look out for them. The council of witches only cares about those with special spe specialties they deem important. If you find the others along the way, it's just bonus points. You all are just as indifferent to the death to the death of others as I am. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but yeah, but we are not making people into pies. <laughs> A ringing noise could be heard from the other room. Another customer is here. I'll be back shortly, okay, my darling. You'll have more time to think it all over. Tripwise skip out the door. A clicking noise behind her indicated she she had luck shot. She looked at shot. Using the opportunity placed in front of me, I started to try to bend and break the vines holding my wrist captive. Twisting them off was a struggle, I admit, but nothing I haven't dealt with before. Once my hands were freed, my next move was to cut the rest of the vines off using the knife in my... Damn it! Cher took all of my belongings out of my pockets. My communicator wasn't there along with my other tools, so much for being able to call for help. I'll have to find out where she put them before I'm able to make my escape. And the chest in the box right there? Awkwardly being out of the rest of the vine, I was able to get a better look at the room. It truly was an eerie sight. There must be something in here that could help unlock the door. Oh, it's it's clicking time. I should have safe. Oh, God damn it. Let's see. Let's investigate around. Maybe the doors is unlocked. Okay, save time. Damn it! It locked tight. Hmm, in every case I've seen ever, ever seen involving the everlasting, there was always some sort of strange puzzle in the sort of hidden rooms. Apparently, according to my sources, they have a bad habit of accidentally locking each other in. <laughs> That's stupid. <laughs> Damn idiot. Regardless, if Cherry's in the everlasting, then there must be one of those puzzles in here that can unlock the door from the inside. Let's see. I've seen one of these before. They are magic cooling shelves. Cherry must be using them to keep the body parts cold. She cleaned off the blood. I wonder why. The pie? Cherry has to step closer to observe the dismembered bee. It's a doll? Interesting. Why have such a gruesome doll on a cooling shelf? Oh 
Huh, interesting. I don't want to click skip because it sucks. Let's see. Oh, this too is a different thing, huh? I think I'm just checking if there's secret anywhere, you know? Like, you gotta be very observant about stuff sometimes, but apparently not. The most eye catching thing in the stream by far had to be the operating table. The disgusting mess of blood smeared over it proved to show how, show how sloppy Cherry was with her word. So it's true. All of those witches will die, yet die by Cherry's hand. I hope they went peacefully, poor souls. A bloody pie theme circle sow. Yikes. There has to be something in here that can help me escape. Rummaging through the tools and cleaning products, I found what looked to be a pale arm at the bottom of the box. Safe? Okay. Banger song, by the way. Once I managed to drag the arm out of the box, it was clear to see the arm was a fake plastic. Most likely some sort of mannequin prop? Hem. Interesting. Can we drag the shell? The giant chest in the room caught my eye. I'm not sure what could it be could be in here, but it's worth a shot checking. Some sort of legs? Little dress life said doll legs. Interesting. You are making it all? I have a doll arm and a pair of doll legs. Maybe something will happen if I put them back in place? Not not yet? Oh, uh, okay, safe. Not yet. We can explore around. Oh, we have clicked those already, so we cannot. So, yeah, we're doing this. I mean, I can see why, like, Cherry is interested in this, in the inquiry. <laughs> Sorry, I, ha I have a type of it. So that's Cherry. Put them in. Upon placing the limbs in their correct places, a strange noise rang through the room. Simple enough, I suppose. With quick swift movements, I unlock the door. The sooner I get out of here, the better. Exiting the, ex exiting that nightmare of a room, I immediately stumbled into a kitchen of sorts. This must be where cherry pies make her, makes her pies and other assorted baked goods. The air sounds of the room contributed to the atmosphere of impending doom. But listening closer, I realized it wasn't entirely silence. I heard faint feminine crying sound coming from somewhere within this room. It almost sounds like a child. Inve investigate. Ugh, save time. Investigate? If someone is trapped in here, I have to help them. Oh, that thing is shining. This thing is like locked, so there's someone there. Oh, we can can we turn on the oven? They're crying. It's coming from inside the oven. Hello, someone in there. Do you need help? I heard a shaking a voice speaking back to me. P please let me out of here. Yeah, I'm scared. Damn it! There's some sort of lock in this oven. Don't worry, miss. I'll get you out of there. Sn sniff. Thank you. That poor thing. I better find the key to this fast. It must be somewhere in this room. Good book. I opened the cabin, but all I met was met with were an array of pots, pans, and other miscellaneous kitchenware. Even digging deeper into the very back, I found nothing of use. Same thing. Okay, so different. Then. Apron. Looking at the apron hung up near the could sense something strange about it. I picked up the white cloth and inspected it closer, noticing that it was heavier than I thought. Hum. I dug through the pockets, finding an odd magnet of sorts. Strange. Why would there be a magnet in here to grab something on there, huh? That looks so good. <laughs> 
Damn, I'm hungry, but I don't exactly trust any food in this place anymore either. Okay, same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Food, 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 you know. Love food as well. It's a cookbook with a variety of enchanted de deserts. Looks like Cherry wrote in most of the recipes herself. The further I look into the cookbook, the more morbid the recipes became. I decided to close the book. Okay, let's grab the thing. Magnet in hand, I crawled awkwardly on top of the kitchen counter. Once placed nearby the vent, I heard the metallic slide of the key ring drag dragging the keys closer towards me. Nice, I get the keys. Who are you? Opening up the oven, I saw what I feared. A small witch shoved inside, crying her tiny eyes out. I reached her hand out to her, which she hesitantly took and pulled her out of the oven. Hello? Ah! It's... You! Hello, Strawberry. Strawberry. Yeah, we were talking about Berry Witch, right? That's Strawberry. You... You look rather smaller. Are you Strawberry or someone else? Uh, thank you. She appeared nervous, which isn't surprising. She looked incredibly young. Besides being in this situation, would have anyone fearful and weird. Are you the sister? But not now that I think about it. I recall Cherry mentioning having a sister around her age. And did she just lock her up? This girl didn't be her, could it? You're welcome. Do you have a name? Um, my name is Strawberry. Uh, I just got it. Witches were, weren't always born with the names they currently use. Often when a witch gains their speciality, they change their name to match it. It's not always the case with a witch will change their name, but it is the most common thing nowadays. Ah, uh, Strawberry Witch, I see. Congratulations on getting such a sweet speciality. It's nice to meet you, Strawberry. We need to get the fuck out of here. My name is Inquiry. I'm with the Council of Witches. How did you get down here? Um, my, my sister, uh... Is Cherry Pie your sister? I yeah, she is my big sister. I, um, I'm not actually supposed to be here. I remember hearing strange noises from a sayer. Sister told me not never to go down here, but I thought she was struggling with something. I wanted, only wanted to help, so I went down and found her in the, the, the kitchen. Strawberry. Ch Cherry, what's happening? I told you not to come down here, sweetie. Go back upstairs, okay? Hehe, <laughs> I'm in the middle of something very important. Why do you need to say that? I hate to. Very important. Ch Cherry, Cherry doesn't seem like herself. Sure, she was saying nice things, but she looked so scary and just froze. She was all twitchy, twitchy and giggly and... I don't know how to explain it. Hey, time to go upstairs now. I have important business to attend to. These spies don't bake themselves, do they? But, but, but you smell like blood. Are, are you hurt? How do you know to smell blood? Strawberry. Upstairs. But, 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 but I don't get it. Why do you smell like blood if you are not hurt? She love a creepy laugh that I never heard before. Uh, no, no, okay, it's so pretty. It was so scary. And then she grabbed me and whispered. People like us were meant to be eaten, strawberry. It seem, I'm simply re rearranging the circle of life. But wait, I'm sorry, I'll go back upstairs. This is the important to me. That was when she locked me in the oven. Please let me out. I, I just wanted to help. I don't like it in here. Ha, huh, I promise all will make sense soon, Strawberry. I kept crying out for help, but nothing happened. Until you help me. This poor girl, Cherry really has lost her mind. She's no longer aware of the severity of her actions. I need to get this child to safety as quickly as possible. Thank goodness the oven was on. I see, you're awfully brave, Strawberry. There's no need to worry anymore, alright? I'll get you out of here and make sure you're safe. 
I give her a warm smile and extend my hand in hopes to cheer up Strawberry. Uh, okay, Th thank you very much, miss. She squeezed into my hand, taking a deep breath in. I decided to move onwards to the next room. My communicator must be here somewhere. Walking through a door leading out of the kitchen, we found ourselves in what looked like a chair team waiting room. Oh, is it cherry lemonade? Oh, oh. Strawberry eyes lit up with excitement she rushed towards the drink dispenser. S Strawberry, wait, we don't know for sure what's in that. It could be poison. I put a hand on her shoulder, which seems to stop the girl from getting a drink. It was a sad sight to see the child frowning up at me, but better safe than sorry. Suspicion grew in my mind as my eyes scanned the room. It was more pleasing to the eye compared to the last two rooms I've encountered. I highly doubt this room is that innocent, though. If you use your investigation skill to see if the lemon is safe, can you let me know, miss? Inquiry? I'm thirsty. Investigation skills. Eh. If only my magic actually worked right now, we would have been out of here already. How about after we get out of here, I'll get you a big glass of whatever drink you would like, alright? You just gotta hang in there a little while longer. Really? Do you mean it? Do you mean it, Miss Inquiry? Mm, of course I did. Yeah, indeed. Uh, sorry, I just just some stuff. Unless, of course, you don't want anything. I want something. I want a big glass of lemonade. Oh, or milkshake, mil mil milkshake with 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 whipped whip, cream and sprinkles. Sorry, I'm suddenly pumping. Maybe Cherry would want. Hmm. Strawberry stopped talking with sentence. A tense sound filled the air. Miss Inquiry, what's going to happen to Cherry? Is she gonna be okay? My heart sang. I do feel bad for this girl. She's going through much so so much all at once. She's gonna be okay, kiddo. There's no need, no need to worry. Why was she acting so weird? I don't know, but I promise we'll do our best to figure out why. Okay. Just as fast as it darkened, her mood and the brightened up again. What a strange little girl. Keeping a, cl a close eye on Strawberry, I began to search the room myself. Huh, okay, so a strawberry lemonade, huh? Are you sure I can have a even have a little sip? Safe. Yeah, strawberry, I'm sure. Oh. Same dialogue? Okay, yeah. Just need to double check. T tissue? I. What? What's that? Oh, oh! I've always wanted to read this book. Oh, it's a book. Really now? What is it about? It's about a wolf and a bunny who fall in love. Are we <laughs> it's a reference to other game. I will just link it on top of the video. I read the first few pages in my school library. The book itself doesn't seem suspicious. Maybe it was supposed to be a gift for Strawberry that Cherry hadn't given yet? Maybe. The drawer had some pens and paper stashed inside, nothing of use. No, no, not the big vase, not the big strange vase. Okay then. Uh, I think it's uh, probably either the mirror or the painting. We'll see. What a door. I approached the door with caution to see if it was unlocked. The second my hand touched the knob, however, I heard a familiar sound coming from the mirror. Ah, interesting. Mirror shared by. Howdy! Uh, huh? Ch Cherry? This is a pair of mirror message that goes up in an authorized person is sent in this room. Still a little meat pie, you are not supposed to escape. Oh, meat pie? Me meat pie? And now I have a chance that you are authorized and this was triggered by mistake. Whoopsies, if you know me well, count all of the things you know about love about me. Hey. <laughs> Toodaloo, meat pie. Don't worry. Don't wor worry now, you're going to be a part of the everlasting. Ah, suddenly two large metallic arms are arose from a hole where the mirror once was. 
There's no strawberry shit, this is bad. Hey, hey, let go of me, please. I don't want to be a meat pie. Sorry, hang on, I'm gonna get you out of air. Help, please. The metal arms are squeezing strawberry tighter and tighter. This is bad. I need to find a way to disable the trap and fast. What was it? Cherry said at the end. That has to be a clue for the other everlasting members. Uh, 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 clock? Cherry? I have to do something. Say something. Cherry's clue. It may be the only chance I have at saving strawberry. Uh, everlasting? Meat pies? I should run this version, but... Ooh, ooh. A loud deafening crunch rang through my ears. Sorry, no. I... I failed. I couldn't save her. A child died and it was all my fault. Is it your fault? <laughs> I'm pretty sure the trap is set by someone else. She didn't serve this. She was so young. Why did it have, have to be her? It's all my fault. Ending 2 per 6 strawberry pie. Oh yeah, okay. Cool. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, how about this thing? A beautiful painting of someone holding a cherry. I tried taking it out of the wall, but the damn thing wouldn't budge. Guess nothing useful here. Magic mirror on the wall? Who's the kid have them all? Strawberry seems to be distracted by the mirror. I'll leave her for now and investigate it after. A charity him clock is taking melodically. If we were in this situation, I think it was charming. Interesting. 12? Yeah, it's not 12 then. I tried to counting the number of cherry around, but it, it is not. Strawberry? No. Inquiry? No. Am I stupid? Wait, don't don't fucking tell me. Wait. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. No. <sighs> tough. Rough. This is, uh, this is a tough one. Count the number of things. Maybe it's individual cherry? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Ooh, count the number of things you love about me. I did. Okay, so I did previously, right? One, two. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12. I count 12. That's not the answer. Is it cherry behind the sofa's account? I don't know. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Fourteen? Is it fourteen? What? Wait, is it a clock? Is it only the clock? I don't understand what fucking clock is that. Uh, th three? No, three. Is it? Is it three? Is that a th three? No, that's a two. Tr two? No. Okay, so I gave up and just look up online, and apparently the answer is 19. I don't. How? How? Actually. Actually, I might be stupid. 
It might be M. It might it might be individual individual cherries and one two one the door one the clock two uh, three in the thing on the uh, on the painting and then six on there so that's already nine right on the tissue box nine and then seven on the shelf seven eight that plushie uh nine on the ring thing vase and then there's a little cherries inside 10 11 12 13 14 15 6 that's still not enough that's still not enough for 19 where where does 19 came from let me recalculate because i'm really fucking curious of how that answer came to be oh okay 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 i recalculate it is 19 um, is it 19 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 yeah it is 19 okay i'm i okay so apparently i'm onto something but i didn't like fully realize that there's like cherries there in the vase that i need to count i think it was just like one giant object but of course i, I did count the one in the water dispenser so i should have guessed i guess 19 uh i also did miscount a little also like the, i think like it was two of the cherries and something like that uh, oh, just a lot of things interesting so it is 19. 19 it's 19 okay it's 19. interesting finally oh, it's it's not strawberry it was inquiry as i said the wearing sound i got before the mechanism mechanism really strawberry dropping her onto the ground the poor kid coughed and wheezed she was almost practically cr crushed strawberry you okay kiddo I spoke kneeling down beside her. She didn't seem seems to have any major injuries from my radical tail. <laughs> yeah, that's so lucky, hmm? Meat pies? Where are y'all? The realization seems to finally dawn on strawberry, causing tears to well up in her eyes. Ch Cherry made some of the special pies for me. I. Did I eat a witch? How did you realize so quickly? That's amazing. <laughs> but, uh, she covered her mouth, looking beyond horrified. As much as I want to help Sorry, it's too dangerous to stay in this room. We've already been here for far too long for my liking. Oh, that's pretty. What matter most right now is finding a way to get out of here and get help. Can you stand? I, I think so. Strawberry wobbled to her feet. She looked off balance. It will be bad if she fails somewhere and get even more hurt. Yeah, indeed. Do you want me to carry you? Yes, please. All right, kiddo, hop on my back. Little one climbed onto my back, clinging her arms on my neck. Deciding not to comment on how she was nearly choking me, I stood up and made my way through the now unlocked door. Along, there's two paths for us. Huh? Along hallway gradas, the other side was illuminated with the light. To our right, there was a dark corridor that seems to lead to another room. I was inclined to head towards the bright light, thinking it might be the way out. Until I heard a familiar haunting laugh coming from the, that very same direction. Ah, oh, nice laugh. Suddenly moving towards the other hallway was our only choice, one that I wasn't very fond of. Oh, entering the new room, I noticed the amount of closets, cabinets, and other places to store belongings. I maneuvered my way quite, quite, quietly through the storage room, one arm holding up strawberry and the other searching through the endless drawers, boxes, and cabinets. You can put Strawberry in the cabinet, I guess. Aha, I found my communicator. I turned my head to tell the pink haired child the news, but noticed a heartbreaking frown on her face. You okay, kiddo? I, I just don't get it. Last week, me and Cherry were celebrating my specialty day, but now she's. Strawberry pointed her little finger towards the wall. There, I noticed a photograph of two witches side by side pinned with pride. Oh, Lordy. Welcome, Strawberry. Yeah. It was bittersweet. Like a strawberry. You get it? Truth be told, I had actually been able to like cherry pie myself. She, she's hardworking, caring, and a lovely conversation. Conversation. Blah, blah, blah. Conversationalist. <coughs> I'm so mad if I can't spell it. Conversationalist. Okay. This change in her 
It truly did feel uncharacteristic, seeing this photo now puzzled me more than ever. No matter how hard I try to stay focused on the task at hand, I just... I can't believe any of what's happening happening. It doesn't feel right. I was quickly snapped out of my thoughts when I heard the rat attack rat attack noise made by cherry shoes ski skipping gladly to close towards us. My first instinct was to hide, but there was a barely any good spots in the room. I have to make sure somebody is safe too. I can predict what Sherry might do at the moment. You can hide behind the corner of the room and just like bonk her. Hide you both? Strawberry? I don't know. Safe? Yeah, safe. Hide strawberry. I just make up on strawberry hoisting her up and into a nearly empty cupboard of her head. M Miss Inquiry? Without hesitation, I handed my communicator over to Strawberry. I lifted a finger up to the girl as a gesture we need to be quiet. Carefully, I whispered up at her. Okay, kiddo, I got a favor to ask you. I know this is really scary and promise it'll all be over really soon. Chair's gonna come in here and it might be taken away. I might be taken away. Once it's safe and she's far away from this room, you press the top red button on that thing. I gave you alright. Oh, wait a moment. Why is my CPU consumption so high? That's... that's... that's weird. Let, let, let me tweak some stuff first. Okay. Okay, apparently it doesn't do much stuff, so I hope that's just a false alarm. I'll track your location and call my body city console for help, do you understand? Sorry, shakily not tr nodded, trying to hold back tears. Hey, kiddo. I promise everything going to be alright. I tried to put on calm and comforting faces on for Sober as I closed the cupboard doors. Truth be told, I... I don't have time to think up a plan. Cherry's gonna be here any minute and... Hello, Cherry. Speak out the devil. What do I do? What to do with you? I love you, but you try to escape. I love you, but... Slowly gaining consciousness in the room, I now dread more than ever. I saw an erratic cherry which mumbling to herself in front of me. Of course, I was tied up with many, many vines. Too many vines, if I'm being frank. Why did you do it? I'm trying to help you. Why won't you just listen to me? I stayed silent, still mentally processing the last however long I've been in here. Ah, uh, I don't feel good. Turned not over, looking as if she were about to puke. Yeah, okay. Y yeah, I... This happens sometimes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> not to worry, my love. I'm not sure to lock up a shop. Nothing can interrupt us now. I promise, my darling, I won't let you out of my sight ever again. Yes. A crash was heard behind Cherry, flashing light glared onto my eyes. Voices I could recognize called out my name. She did it. She did it. There was so much chaos of spells firing back and forth, it smelled like a mix of ice and burnt ash all at once. Very unpleasant. I mean, someone could be very burned right now. Get your hands off me! I heard Cherry scream. I look up to see her struggling to fight a beam of light that encaptured her, her form completely. It didn't take long after that for my body to pray me out of those vines and bring me out of that nightmare. I shall be happy. I escape, right? I cuff a member of the Everlasting, and there's probably more information down there that could help the Council of Witches. But honestly, I'm just so tired. Every time I look for answers, I'm either running a wild goose chase or severely scarred by what I find. I'm tired. I just wanted to go to a cafe and enjoy a nice slice of pie. I didn't ask for any of this. Strawberry? How about the little kid? Ah, there we are. Strawberry. What? Wait, you can't take me away! I heard Cherry spray protest as she was escorted out of the hidden part of the building. I have a sister I need to take care of. Please, you can do this. Speak. Say that to all the people I have killed. <laughs> Strawberry, sweetheart, there you are. You know I will never hurt you, right? Right? 
Uh, yeah, about that. Uh, I don't know how to explain to you about the cow trap. Strawberry suddenly covered behind me, clinging to the back of my sleeve. Strawberry? It, it's okay. Your, your, uh, your, what do you call it? Honorary wife will guard Strawberry, okay? <laughs> will guard your little sister. My heart ached for Cherry truthfully. I still can wrap my head around that girl. My heart also ached from, well, everything. But nothing could compare to the heart I felt when I looked back at that little girl. She looked at me with a saddest expression as two of my buddies took her aside to talk with her. Kido. She really is a sweet girl. Like a strawberry. She's gonna be all alone now, isn't she? Yeah. Indeed. Alright, Miss Inquiry, thank you so much for sending all the paperwork in such a timely manner. I'll be sure to bring her out her out right away. I thank the receptionist, wi wiping my sweaty hands off, off on my pants the second she turned around. At first I was uncertain if I should do this, I mean, I've never dealt too much with kids before. But then, when I saw that kid walk in the room, safe in one piece, it finally clicked in my brain, the relief, the joy. Miss Inquiry, what are you doing here? I believe I owe someone a tall glass of lemonade, don't I? Her smile lit up the room. I couldn't help but want to protect it. Was that really so bad? If being a parent means wanting to protect a kid more than anything in this world, I don't think I'll do too shabby, hey? <laughs> yeah. Strawberry ran towards me once she realized I was here for a fun reason, wrapping her arm arms around me. I leaned down lower to give the kid a big friendly squeeze. Yay, Miss Inquiry, Miss Inquiry, I did it. I pushed the button like a saint. You did good, kid. I'm so proud of you. You had to deal with a lot of hard stuff lately, but rest assured, I'll be watching over you now. <laughs> over you? Wait, does this mean... Yep, kiddo, as two minutes ago, you're officially my kiddo. I ruffled her hair perfectly as her laughter filled the very ear. Oh. Yay, does it mean I'll get to leave with you, Miss Inquiry? Yep, you're stuck with me. Unless, well, you don't want to go with me, that is. No, no, I want to go with you. I want lemonade. I know that the reality of what this girl went through hasn't completely hit her yet. I know when it did, it will hit hard. She doesn't deserve to be alone through all of this, you know. I, I want be, to be there to support her. Having that realization, I just felt like this was fine. I... I don't know if it was a thing, but I think, uh, I don't remember, like, is, like, is in Berry Witch, that's, like, Strawberry Lemonade? I think there was a Strawberry Lemonade, but I don't know if it influences Strawberry's judgment. Hand in hand, I decided right then that no matter what, no matter where she goes or who she, she wants to be, I will always love my little Berry Witch. Ending 6 for 6 through end. That is very nice. I, I truly enjoy it. It's simple yet wonderful, like the story and stuff like that, like the characters. I, I love all of them. So we have unlocked three endings. I suppose there's three more endings that we do need to unlock. We can just speedrun, I guess, and see how it goes, shall we? Let's do it. Okay, I feel like if we both hide, that will do another ending. Me and Strawberry crammed together, hiding as quietly as we could inside of the closet. It was the only option I could think of with, of with such a little time. But there's still other chain you could think of, actually. Hello. <laughs> Lovely. Inquiry. What are you doing with my sister? The cherry witch grabbed the collar of my shirt, yanking me out of our hiding place. You get away from her, you disgusting pervert. What? Okay. But pervert? No, cherry. Before I could explain my piece, Cherry continued her scolding in my face. I think I knew you. I think you were nice. Y you were trying to... We were hiding from you. I can let you hurt a child, Cherry. Ch cherry Strawberry picked her head out of the closet, to which Cherry Pie immediately had hop in front of her in a defensive point. <sighs> you. Position, yeah. <sighs> I see who it is. 
her child, hurt my sister. Everything I've done here is for her, to protect her. I can let her grow up alone with no help like I had to. Our parents, they used up all of their magic to keep us alive in Quarry. They gave up everything for us. All I had was my sister. I will do anything to keep her from harm, even if that means I have to kill you too. What? Wait. Sheridan hesitated in the slightest. Before I knew it, thorny finds were trapping my very form. With one suffocating pitiful crunch, I felt the life drain from my body. <laughs> Ending 5 per 6, sisterly love. Yeah. So that's two more endings that we don't unlock. Let's see how do we do that. Yeah, I think if we focus on escape, it will be different. My top priority should be finding my communicator. Anyone else trapped in here will get rescued too. Walking through a door leading out of the kitchen, I found myself in what looked like a chair team waiting room. Odd, what on earth would you need a waiting room for? I couldn't get a sound of crying out of my ears even though I was far away from where I first heard it. I felt guilty. Did I really do the right thing? Is what I'm doing right? It occurred in my brain, getting louder and louder. Gripping my pointed ears, I desperately tried to get the noises out of my head. Just stop it. I'm doing everything I can. My feels stumbled over themselves amidst my panic. However, I was able to quickly catch myself on the cherry temp lamp. Click. Cl click. The lamp made a noise. Despite my fear that it broke it, rumbling sounds coming from the wall made me where the lamp was designed to be a switch. Oh, I was met with a hole in the wall where the painting once stood. Normally, I would use my magic to deflect and traps or triggers, but seeing as I don't have any of that now, hesitantly I crawled through the tight space. I paused my crawl for a moment, hearing peculiar noises from the other side of the wall. Sloshing, chewy, animalistic like noises triggering into something. Oh, okay. Oh, how I miss this high. <laughs> Cherry pie? Yeah, I know, children, but just maybe just a few more bites. It will make the feeling last longer. Flash blood. The smell was so strong it filled my sense even from all the way back here. I feel so refreshed. So perfect. Bless the beginners for revigorating my soul. Bless the beginners. Cherry wasn't eating a meat pie. She was consuming a witch hole, nucleus and all from the sounds of it. Ooh. Laughter reverberated throughout the entire building. Oh my, what a mess! I have to clean all There we go. This up before I see my beloved again. Hey. <laughs> I didn't want to scare her. It's a bit too late for that, buddy. <laughs> Silence Cherry must have left to clean herself up. With that, I continued crawling my way through, feeling more uneasy than before. A secret room with a lone file cabinet in the middle. What? This is so bizarre. There could be useful information there. I have to look through it. Rummaging through the file cabinet, I found some peculiar notes. From the beginning, there were seven witches. The witches of fire, water, land, artisan, war, mine, and heart. Why the fuck war is in there? These witches were called the beginners. The beginners held immense magical power and paved the way for all which can to flourish. They eventually formed into a group that called themselves the Council of Witches. They were able to split off parts of themselves in order to create new witches, and thus the sharing of magical energy became known. Even when the be beginners expired one by one, the Council of Witches continued forth in their honor. Their energy still lives on with within all of us. After all, in the form of our nucleus, the magical nucleus is the most powerful part of which harvesting the nucleus, adding it, adding it to our own, is a direct guarantee to everlasting life. So long as we keep har harvesting, we will be everlasting. From the beginning, there were seven witches. Oh, I already read this. Yeah, I already read this. We can skip this. Right? Yeah. There is so much more in here, but I should be getting the hell out of here. What am I doing? What shall I do? Oh, we can save. Interesting. Read more. There might be something important here. More secret base location, dangerous plan because some I have to keep digging. Or you could just leave it and 
like do it later. Report 16x. I pulled out another page from the cabinet. The council may be having another competition to choose new members in the next few cycles. The representatives of the land and the mine are growing older. Perfect for harvesting, if we can arrange such a feat. Yeah. Everlaster Cherry suggested recruiting the mine division investigator inquiry into our ranks. Ah! We are allowing her to attempt communication within a controlled environment. If successful, we just may be able to use her to harvest the land and mine representatives nu nuclei. nuclei. This, this was bad. An assassination attempt on one of the council members. I frantically dug through the drawer once more. Top secret. If you are reading this, it means you are a member of our preparation committee. It is imperative that this document not leave your eyes. Our scientific specialists in the everlasting have found substance within the witch nuclei to be heavily addictive once ingested. Oh yeah, that that explains. We must take caution to not let others know until we can find a way to counterbalance its urge. If they find out, it may cause an uproar. Uh -huh. That be this being said, be careful to monitor your own intake. Member cherry pie slices have been the easiest cover to both prevent suspicion and keep daily intake to a minimum. Suggest to anyone who seems to be displaying erratic behavior only one pie slice a day until their urge subsides. Yeah, indeed. It just keeps getting worse. If the everlasting is growing this powerful, the very magical balance of our universe could be at stake. We are already on the brink of magic energy crisis. Taking it too much of all for yourself is de destined to doom the balance of our world. Of course, this bastard will know that. That explains Cherry's erratic behavior. All she cares about is getting her next fix. She's not entirely there. Oh. Oh, my head. The second I grew conscious, I felt a sharp pain near my knees. My mind was foggy. My limbs felt more numb than ever before. Do you still have your limbs? What? What's going on? What happened to me? Muffled feminine laughter I caught in my ears. Splashes of reds and browns came to my vision. This metal car soon took form to create a deranged young woman hovering over me. Yeah, I jolted back, or at least I tried to. My arm seems to be restrained by something. Good morning, sleepyhead. Or well, good afternoon. <laughs> My speech slurred as I tried to scream out, only to be muffled by a blood-soaked hand. No, no, screaming won't work, so don't even try it. You really broke my heart there, sugar pie. Why did you run away like that and slip through my things? I think you loved me too. Was I too scary? Too forward? I wanted to do the right thing. Maybe. Hey, what I'm saying? I can talk to you right now. You can... You can talk right now, silly me. Indeed. There's no use spreading over the past anyhow. All I can do is try to break our future together. Ah, oh, speaking of protecting our future... You may notice your lack of legs. Yeah, I, I did notice that earlier. I struggled to move my head up from where I now realized was a sort of operating table. Looking down confirmed cherry words, I was unhappily greeted by this unhappily, huh? Greeted by a sight of legless knobs wrapped in crimson stained ghosts. Ah, okay. All I could utter out in my sedative said were groans and mumbles of discomfort. Ah, oh, fuck. My legs, god damn it, how am I going to get out of this now? Is there any way out of this? Hey now, sugar pie, there's really no need to fret. If you are like this, I can protect you more. The everlasting one to kill you, but I'm saving you like how you saved me. Oh, how poetic. If you run away, you will have been dead for sure, and we can just have that. Besides, it's not like our legs will go to waste. Go to waste? No, she couldn't mean. That'll be the most delicious addition the pie ever created. I want this to be special. You are going to become one with me at long last. It's a dream come true. Indeed. This meat, it's so special. Normally I use my slice and dessert for dismemberment, but I wanted to savor the moment as much as possible, so I use a bone saw instead. Shoot, I make it off your hands while I'm at it. <laughs> that way you won't go snooping around again. Decisions, decisions. How's a girl to choose? Slay. My darling. You're going to be delicious. Ending to 
for six can you build a tick? Wow. Wait, was that all of the ending? No, there, there, there's one more ending. There's ending four, right? I remember that. Yeah, this one. If we focus on escape. And the subject, there's our shooting sub now, not with the same currently in any ways. Once help arrives, I'll be able to do much more throughout investigation of this area. Not seeing an exit, I slowly crawled back the way I came. Oh, Cherry. Ouch. Ouch, my head. Why is it always the head? <laughs> Good. I love that it happens after all the head bonking experience. Opening my eyes, I saw a familiar and pleasant sight. Not here again. Cherry must have knocked me out back there and dragged me back. Ah, oh, darling! Cherry called out for me in her sickeningly sweet voice. I tried to open my mouth to respond, but... Cherry se seems to have planned to involve me not speaking. Indeed. This is the enemy inquiry. Since you are so adamant on escaping, I wanted to make sure this time you will listen to me. I love you, inquiry. I'm trying to save your life whether you like it or not. This is the best outcome for you. Or you could surrender. The everlasting may seem bad, but I promise you there are things about the console you don't know. Muffling currents of protest were all I could say to show my disdain. Disdain. There are things out there they haven't even told you. Things we spend countless cycles trying to dig up. This goes so, so much deeper than you thought. It's not just a cute girl gone wacko like a thing. I'm truly apologetic for getting so carried away. Yeah, you, yeah, but you did get wacko. This is life and death. Here, I have a family to protect and I'm trying to protect you too. I know you've questioned the things they've done before inquired. The things they've made you do. You're a good person with kind heart. How, how long have you followed them blindly? Haven't you ever wondered, yo, if you were really on the right side? To tell the truth, I understand that feeling all too well. But when the time comes, we'll have a choice to make. What will you choose? Ending for perceived confusion. Very, very, very interesting. Uh, anyway, yes, oh, I love that. I, I, I love this, this story so much. Like I said before already. So I guess that's all for Cherry Witch. I hope you enjoy it because I truly do enjoy it. Uh, yeah, like the... Everything is just... It, it's simple, but it's very lovely. Like the characters are very enjoyable. Like very... How do you say it? Very lovely. Very enjoyable. Very. I, I don't know what else word I could say. Uh, I'm struggling with vocabulary. The characters are very beloved, lovable, some, something like that. I, I like them both. Strawberry, I already know Strawberry like, from the previous game, so it helps me a lot with this. Inquiry is just amazing. Cherry is nice. Anyway, yes, that's all. I hope you enjoyed it. See you later then in my next video. Bye bye Or should I say booberry? Haha. Bye-bye. I cannot scrunch. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.